Yo, what's up? This is Dante Bosco. This is another episode of Conversate, Eight Minute Conversations with Asian Americans. Today we have some friends of mine, Minji, Megan, Melissa. Actually, you guys are all M's. We're all oh! M's. It's like a girl group. Um, we're actually backstage right <laughs> now so. at uh, Channel 18. We're, we just did an interview because we're all going to be at South by Southwest together. But uh, introduce yourselves and tell them what you do. Uh, hi, I'm Megan. I'm a singer, songwriter, and actress. Hi, I'm Minji Chang. I'm executive director of Collaboration, and I'm an actress. I'm Melissa Polinar, and I sing and write songs. You're not an actress yet? Well, uh, you're not an actress. Next no? <laughs> Maybe, someday. Okay. So, we're working on it. I need lessons, oh, yeah. though. Basically, when, when on this, we just kind of talk and hang out, and we're in the, you know, we just finished an interview, but now we're just hanging out, and the, there's some people I know better than others. And uh, some people I've seen perform. I've, I've seen you perform for sure. Have I oh, seen you perform? I have no idea. I don't know if I have yet either. You what kind, need of, what kind to. of singing do you do? You need some like, kind of song? Already in life. Oh. What kind? <laughs> what kind of song? Like what kind of singers do they compare you to? I would say like if you were to crossbreed Stevie Wonder and James Taylor and Stevie Anna Wonder, James Taylor. Yeah, and a little India Ari. Nice. No. Yeah. That's Makes dope. So well fuzzy. I feel like I grew up on that kind of like James Taylor. We grew up on. Well, Filipinos grew up on James Taylor. Yeah, I do. <laughs> and and like freaking Stevie Wonder. And Stevie Wonder. Stevie I don't know if a lot of people that know out there. If you don't know a lot of Filipinos, we grew up on a lot of Stevie Wonder, a lot of James Taylor. All like that seventies music. Yeah, we all love that. I grew up on her though. So. Oh really? I, I listened to her on YouTube <laughs> before I ever met her. I, I first met her at collaboration. Like she got up and did the freestyle vocal competition when I was Slayed. like late. <laughs> she was this tiny little thing with pigtails and like these fur boots. Oh and, my and then, and then she starts seeing Beyonce and we're like, oh my what? god. <laughs> and then her was like, yeah, that's just how I got exposed to you guys. Oh, that's crazy. Aww. And what what do you what do you compare yourself to, or what do people say you're like single wise? Um, I, I don't know. Um, I'm still kind of like. Finding myself. Really? <laughs> I'm. I'm finding. Uh, I don't know if I can compare myself. What's your to sound anyone. like? To you, what's She's your sound like? I. I, I do like. <laughs> I do love a lot of R&B, uh, soul, jazz music. Uh, I play the guitar. I wanted to be like the Asian Taylor Swift, so oh. I did a lot of like um, singer songwriter acoustic things. Okay. But now I'm kind of gearing more towards of like um, urban, the more mature music. Um, yeah. You've always had that but voice it's always beyond your years. Oh, thank opinion. you. With that being said, what is your favorite song on the radio right now? Oh, right now? That's a hard question. Um, Get ready, because I'm asking all y'all. Oh, oh, gosh. I think... Uh, I really like Love on the Brain by Brianna. Mm -hmm. Love on the Brain. Yeah. It's, Minji? She has that classic voice. Minji, what you, what you thinking? Uh, the Weeknd, I Feel It Coming. Oh, yeah. I love that song. I love yeah, that. yeah, I love that. Sounds like Michael. Yeah. Sounds like yeah. Michael. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Melissa, it. what's your song? Anything by Sia. Oh. Sia is killing it right now. Sia is I, killing like, it. Well, I respect her so much because as a songwriter, like, I love songwriters. Mm -hmm. right. It doesn't matter what genre you are, if you kill it in the game, like, it's... It's like there's a bond that I feel. She has a lot of, uh, yeah, she's like emotional. Yeah. Her songs are emotional, right? Yeah. What's yours? Um, I mean, I kind of like that song Complicated right now. Okay. Mm -hmm. You know Complicated? Wait, 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 Machine Gun Kelly and that girl from Fifth Dome. Oh! 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 Wait, wait, are you talking about Bad Things? Bad Things, Bad Things. Okay, okay, yeah, 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 Bad Things. Wait, that's a remake. That's a remake, yeah. Wait, it's a remake? That it's melody is was it is from Basketball. I listened to that when I was in grade school. <laughs> it, it did Blood sound like... Yeah, you right. Yeah, 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 I heard it song before. Like, yeah, singers know. Singer, singer, yeah, singers yeah. know when... Singers know when you steal the melodies out there. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. I, know, I didn't know where it was from, but I knew that that melody was not Yeah, original. it was like a band, like a 90s yeah, band. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's yeah. a lot of remakes nowadays, I feel like. That's kind of that's just, my, that's my qualms about music. I know, <laughs> you know. It's all about remixing. It's like sampling. But you're like live sampling. So... We're all here today because we're all going to be at South by Southwest together. Minji uh, is the executive director of Collaboration, and they put Woo! together this whole this whole event um, of Asian Americans' first time at South by Southwest. Yeah. Yeah. Lady. So, so how did you put it together? What's the deal like? How did you get a lot of uh, self promotion, which is like, it's, <laughs> yeah. but it's not self promotion. I actually feel like a lot more comfortable. It's weird. Like I feel something with the Asian community that I would love. Like I, if I was assigned to like talk any of you guys up right. I could talk for days and people would be mad annoyed with me but mm -hmm. it's like for myself I feel really awkward being self-promoting right but then with collab with this in particular I felt so strongly like this is 
are where we can contribute to the conversation. Right. So it was just like filling out applications, making sure that um, people knew why we wanted to. There's a lot of essays and proposals. I love writing. the story you told in there when you were like at South by last year, or 2015, and you asked the, the music executive, like, have you ever signed an Asian? There's a artist? panel of white executives, and, and they like, like they're, yeah. they're super, again, I Straight up, no. He was like, no, we never done that. Yeah, and he said, but he, he, he cushioned yeah. it, he cushioned it with like, oh, there's like two Asian artists that I love on YouTube. So he brought up YouTube. Okay. And I was Which dying. Which artist did you bring up? I, did, I wanted I to wanted ask him. I was like, can you tell me who? Because I'll probably know them. But like, <laughs> I, don't know. I, don't know. I didn't. Shit. I didn't. Because the clock was ticking. I was like, all right, okay, so no. But okay, like, why? Wow. Uh, uh, yep. And then, and so and so uh, he was just saying like he was really apologetic about it. He's like, you know, I don't know, but my boss just says like we can't. We don't know what to do with them. And that's always the thing that I've heard from so many it's of you time. guys. Changing artists yeah. like this today, I think you guys are, uh, it's a different time for us to kind of do our thing our way. Yeah. yeah. Well, my little backstory is that uh, Warner actually tried to sign me when I was a kid. Okay. But they didn't know what to do with me. So, yeah, well, I don't so know they signed me into a publishing deal, which I ended up writing a whole bunch of songs. In hindsight, yeah. it prepared me to who I am right now, but that was their way to like, we don't know what to do with you, but we love you. We'll, we'll stick you to all these studios and work with all these guys. Yeah. Right. Um, behind, the behind the scenes. Behind the scenes. Behind the scenes. Um, it kind of like limited me because there's a part of me that loved to sing. You know, a song, it, I believe that a song is not fully written until you actually share it to people. Right. So I can keep writing and writing and writing. If I don't really share anything, it's like it kind of, kind of, I don't know, uh, contained me for a while. So uh, it wasn't until YouTube that kind of started that whole this whole new thing. And I right. That I'm now right here with you guys, but um, it's because we're underrepresented and like all these Asian kids, like Minji back in the day, probably watch me on like YouTube and like memorized <laughs> Meant to Be and awesome. all that stuff. And and I think it kind of gave me like a new purpose in life in terms of like my artistry and where I stand in this whole scheme of things. Like sometimes you don't know where you, you know, totally. what's your thing. Right, and that's evolving sure. all the time, right? Yeah. I mean, like, both in, like, what society might be ready for mm -hmm. and then what you're offering, right? Like, that's, I don't know, it's an interesting time right now. Mm -hmm. It's changing more every day. I'm just glad that we can finally just showcase ourselves, not only as Asian American, but just, like, we're just like anybody artists. else. Indie we're just artists like, that are yeah, like, yeah. talented. You know, yeah, like, because it's really funny how labels look at Asian American artists and say, we don't know what to do with you. Like, yeah. what do you mean? We promote me. We're just like, <laughs> yeah, like we're not aliens, yeah. you know, we just, right. we just happen to have an Asian face. But we, you know, we grew up in the, in America. We speak English. We, we, we sing and dance and write songs. But do you still get that reaction? Like you get to travel and you've done, you know, TV shows and whatnot. Mm -hmm. Have you, since you kind of went... Hardcore. Oh, oh does that oh, 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 Conversation. You know what? To catch up more on this conversation, I'm sure we'll be talking more about this at South by Southwest. Yes. So follow all of our blogs and our socials. It'll be in the description below. Thank you guys for joining us in another episode of Conversate. Conversate, y'all. This is fun. Bye. <laughs>